Dear children, I'm with you, and I desire to help each of you to live and by living, to witness the good news. I'm here, dear children, to help you, and to lead you to heaven, and in heaven is the joy through which you can already live heaven now. I desire to draw you ever closer to Jesus, and to his wounded heart, that you might be able to comprehend the immeasurable love, which gave itself for each one of you. Therefore, dear children, pray that from your heart would flow a fountain of love to every person both to the one who hates you, and to the one who despises you. That way you will be able through Jesus' love to overcome all the misery in this world of sorrows, which is without hope for those who do not know Jesus. First of all, give your love and example in your families. I love you with my maternal love, and I invite you to open yourselves completely to me so that, through each one of you, I can convert and save this world, which is full of sin and bad things. That is why, my dear little children, you should open yourselves completely to me, so that I may carry you always further toward the marvelous love of God the Creator who reveals himself to you from day to day. Without love you cannot pray. That is why I am calling you to love God, the Creator of your lives, above everything else. Then you will come to know God, and will love him in everything as he loves you. Dear children, it is a grace that I am with you. That is why you should accept and live my messages for your own good, I love you, and that is, why I'm with you, in order to teach you, and to lead you to a new life of conversion and renunciation. Only in this way, will you discover God and all that which now seems so far away from you. Therefore, my dear children, pray. These days are the days, when you need to decide for God, for peace and for the good. May every hatred and jealousy disappear from your life and your thoughts and may there only dwell love for God, and for your neighbor. Today I invite you all to awaken your hearts to love, go into nature, and look our nature is awakening, and it will be a help to you to open your hearts to the love of God, the Creator. I desire you to awaken love in your families, so that where there is unrest and hatred, love will reign, and when there is love in your hearts then there is also prayer. And, dear children, do not forget, that I'm with you, and I'm helping you with my prayer, that God may give you the strength to love, I love you, and wish to protect you from every evil, but you do not desire it. Dear children, I cannot help you, if you do not live God's commandments, if you do not live the Mass, if you do not give up sin, I invite you to be apostles of love and goodness. In this world of unrest give witness to God and God's love and God will bless you, and give you what you seek from him. I invite you to open yourselves to me, and become an instrument in my hands for the salvation of the world. I desire, little children, that all of you who have felt the odor of holiness through these messages, which I am giving you to carry, to carry it into this world, that hungry for God and God's love rejoice, because God loves you, and gives you the possibility, to convert every day and to believe more in God the Creator. God has allowed me to stay this long with you and therefore, little children, I invite you to live with love the messages I give, and to transmit them to the whole world, so that a river of love flows to people, who are full of hatred and without peace. I invite you, little children, to become peace, where there is no peace and light, where there is darkness, so that each heart accepts the light and the way of salvation. There is no peace, little children where there is no prayer and there is no love, where there is no faith. Today I call you to love, little children, without love you can neither live with God nor with brother. Therefore, I call all of you to open your hearts to the love of God, that is so great and open to each one of you. God, out of love for man, has sent me among you to show you the path of salvation, the path of love. If you do not first love God, then you will neither be able to love neighbor nor the one you hate. Therefore, Little children, pray and through prayer you will discover love. I invite you to go into nature, because there you will meet God the Creator. Today I invite you, little children, to thank God for all that he gives you. In thanking him, you will discover the Most High and all the goods that surround you. Little children, God is great and his love for every creature is great. Therefore, pray to be able to understand the love and goodness of God. In the goodness and the love of God the Creator, I also am with you as a gift. Today I invite you, that each of you begin again to love, 
In the first place, God who saved and redeemed each of you, and then brothers and sisters in your proximity, without love, little children, you cannot grow in holiness, and cannot do good deeds, therefore, little children, pray without ceasing, that God reveals his love to you, I have invited all of you to unite yourselves with me and to love, today I'm with you, and invite you to discover love in your hearts, and in the families, for God to live in your hearts, you must love, dear children, without love you cannot live peace, the fruit of peace is love, and the fruit of love is forgiveness, I'm with you, and I invite all of you, little children, that before all else forgive in the family, and then you will be able to forgive others, I invite you to decide again, to love God above all else, in this time when due to the spirit of consumerism one forgets what it means to love, and to cherish true values, I invite you again, little children, to put God in the first place in your life, do not let Satan attract you through material things, but, little children, decide for God who is freedom and love, choose life and not death of the soul, little children, and in this time, when you meditate upon the suffering and death of Jesus I invite you to decide for life, which blossomed through the resurrection, and that your life may be renewed today through conversion, that shall lead you to eternal life, each one of you shall become in the simplicity, similar to a child, which is open to the love of the Father, little children, I'm your mother, and I desire to reveal to you the God of love, and the God of peace, I do not desire for your life to be in sadness, but that it be realized in joy for eternity, according to the gospel, I invite you, little children, to see at this time who needs your spiritual or material help, by your example, little children, you will be the extended hands of God, which humanity is seeking, only in this way will you understand, that you are called to witness, and to become joyful carriers of God's word, and of his love, I call you to have your life be connected with God the Creator, because only in this way, will your life have meaning and you will comprehend, that God is love, God sends me to you out of love, that I may help you to comprehend that without him there is no future or joy, and, above all, there is no eternal salvation, little children, I call you to leave sin and to accept prayer at all times, that you may in prayer come to know the meaning of your life, God gives himself to him who seeks him, today I call you to comprehend that without love you cannot comprehend, that God needs to be in the first place in your life, that is why, little children, I call you all to love, not with a human, but with God's love, in this way, your life will be more beautiful, and without an interest, you will comprehend, that God gives himself to you in the simplest way out of love, little children, so that you may comprehend my words, which I give you out of love, pray 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 and you will be able to accept others with love, and to forgive all who have done evil to you, respond with prayer, prayer is a fruit of love towards God the Creator, little children, meditate on and live, through your little sacrifices, the passion and death of Jesus for each of you, only if you come closer to Jesus, will you comprehend the immeasurable love he has for each of you, through prayer and your enunciation you will become more open to the gift of faith, and love towards the church and the people who are around you, little children renounce, that which hinders you from being closer to Jesus, in a special way I call you, pray, because only through prayer, will you be able to overcome your will, and discover the will of God even in the smallest things, by your daily life, little children, you will become an example and witness, that you live for Jesus, or against him and his will, little children, I desire that you become apostles of love, by loving, little children, it will be recognized, that you are mine, put holy scripture in a visible place in your families, read it, reflect on it, and learn how God loves his people, his love shows itself also in present times, because he sends me to call you upon the path of salvation, only with love and prayer, little children, can you live this time, which is given to you for conversion, place God in the first place, then the risen Jesus will become your friend, little children, be joyful carriers of peace, and love in this peaceless world by fasting and prayer, witness that you are mine, and that you live my messages, pray and seek, I'm praying and interceding for you before God that you convert, that your life and behavior always be Christian, 
may each day be a joyful witness for you of God's love, he speaks to you also through the smallest flower about his beauty and the depth of love with which he has created you, little children, may prayer flow from your hearts like fresh water from a spring, may the wheat fields speak to you about the mercy of God towards every creature, that is why, renew prayer of thanksgiving for everything he gives you. If you pray, you are closer to God and he will lead you on the way of peace and salvation, that is why I call you today, to give peace to others, only in God, is there true peace, open your hearts, and become those who give a gift of peace and others will discover peace in you, and through you, and in this way you will witness God's peace and love, which he gives you, pray in a special way for those who have not come to know God's love, and witness with your life so that they also can come to know God and his immeasurable love, especially, little children, pray for the gifts of the Holy Spirit, so that in the spirit of love, every day and in each situation, you may be closer to your fellow man and that in wisdom, and love you may overcome every difficulty, do not forget, that you are here on earth on the way to eternity, and that your home is in heaven, that is why, little children, be open to God's love and leave egoism and sin. Little children, today I'm near you, and I bless each of you with my motherly blessing, so that you have the strength and love for all the people you meet in your earthly life, and that you can give God's love, open your hearts, so that Jesus enters into them, comes to dwell in them, and starts to work through you. Only in this way will you be able to comprehend the true beauty of God's love, joy and peace. This is a time of grace. That is why pray pray pray, until you comprehend God's love for each of you, encourage each other, little children, to prayer and love, may your faith be an encouragement to others to believe, and to love more, you cannot be converted, little children, if you do not abandon sins, and do not decide for love towards God and neighbor, pray for peace in your hearts and work for your personal conversion, little children, only in this way, will you be able to become witnesses of peace, and of the love of Jesus in the world, open yourselves to prayer, so that prayer becomes a need for you, be converted, little children, and work so that as many souls as possible may come to know Jesus and his love, I will be with you, and will teach you how to put Jesus in the first place, I will teach you to love him, and to belong to him completely, comprehend, dear children, that without my son there is no salvation, you should become aware, that he is your beginning and your end, only with this awareness, can you be happy and merit eternal life, rejoice with me in this time of spring, when all nature is awakening and your hearts long for change, open yourselves, little children, and pray, do not forget, that I am with you, and I desire to take you all to my son, that he may give you the gift of sincere love towards God and everything, that is from him, open yourselves to prayer and seek a conversion of your hearts from God, everything else he sees and provides, thank you for having responded to my call.